Hi everybody, it's John here, just giving you an update on our reunion. Um, looks like we got a good group of people coming. We got about 40 people signed up uh, coming in. And I just wanted to kind of give you a little rundown of uh, the events and everything that, that we have and a couple little updates. Um, and attached to this, uh, this little video here, we have uh, a little survey that I'd like you to just take two minutes to take. Why? Because I have to get numbers to certain people and see if people are still interested in doing these things. I don't want to schedule something and then have not enough people show up. So it will only take a couple of minutes, but it's extremely important information that I'll need uh, to make sure that we get it. Okay, um, so let's start with Friday night. Friday night, um, we're gonna we start with people getting into town. I've uh, organized uh, an evening at the uh, for drinks at the Erie Canal uh, Erie Station Bar and Grill, um, which is pretty cool. Um, they have pub fare, so you can order any kind of food that you want on your own, drinks on your own, of course. Uh, of course, I'll be DJing. I'll have my DJ stuff set up, so there'll be music. Uh, they've said we can have the back, the upstairs room. They have a, an upstairs private room. Uh, that'd be great for us to kind of gather and be there. And if we have enough people, it'd be wonderful. Of course, if you're not a if you know somebody that's not planning on attending the dinner on Saturday night and would like to stop by and there was any of the classes of 1995, 1994, 1996, uh, local and locally in town that weekend, we encourage them to come out as well uh, since it's not something we need a, a head count for. But I'm just interested to see how many people will actually be coming into town that night uh, so I can tell the, uh, the workers and owners there uh, who many people will be there. Uh, so if you could just click on the survey and confirm if you'll be attending or not be attending that event. That would be awesome. I look forward to I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, secondly, uh, the very next day, um, on Saturday the 29th from 11 to noon, uh, we have the, te the tentative possibility of a tour of the school. Um, it's, uh, many of you have not seen it in many years, um, and it's changed. It had some major renovations over the years, and uh, we, uh, I'd like to see if people wanted to take a, a little hour-long tour of the school to see what it was like and maybe reminisce about a few things from uh, before 20 years ago. Uh, but I do need a headcount for that. I do need to know if people are interested, because if they're not interested, again, I'll have to cancel. Um, so that'll be on from 11 to noon on Saturday, tour for Fort Plain High School. So please click if you'll be attending or not attending that. Um, finally, uh, the night itself, uh, obviously, there's a little change in venue. This is a very important update. Um, we were going to be at the Fort Rensselaer Club, which is a beautiful, big, old building that would be perfect for a group of 80 to 90 to 100 people. That's what we thought we were originally going to have. People said, eh, I can't make it. Something's come up. So not a problem. But the Fort Rensselaer Club and Van Alstyne House would look a little empty with only 40 people there. Uh, plus, we'd have to pay for it. So what we decided to do was actually take the smaller group of people and actually have it at Dome 49 Restaurant itself. Um, which they've uh, accommodated us for as well. It's going to be a, a really uh, fun night. There'll still be music. There'll still be a DJ. I'll still have everything set up. Uh, and there's an added bonus to this as well by not having it at the Vanalstein house to save us a little money, but also at the same time, we're rolling it back into um, the uh, cocktail hour starts at 6.30 on Saturday night, and uh, we were able to kind of roll those funds into an open bar for that time. So there'll be open bar from 6.30 to 7.30 that evening, and whenever that runs out, then we're kind of responsible for our own drinks. But I think uh, I think it'll be a, a nice uh, way to have cocktail hour and make it kind of more of an inclusive thing for the evening. Of course, then dinner will begin at 7.30 um, until whenever. Um, the Dome 49 is great food, and they're, they're accommodating us really well, and we have the place for the evening. Um, on that note as well, both for both Friday and Saturday night, um, we have spoken to George Moore, uh, who owns a limo service, and George has, uh, George has said that he would provide um, a limo driver and his limousine to make runs back and forth from either the Erie Canal Station or the, um, Erie Station, I should say, and or the um, Dome 49 on Friday and Saturday night. So if you would be interested in either Friday night or Saturday night, um, or if you have your own transportation, please click the survey so I know. Um, it's something that you would want um, if you'd like to get a ride and leave your car and come pick it up the next day um, or whatever arrangements you want to make. Just let me know so I know that maybe we need a driver both Friday and Saturday. Maybe the uh, limo will be making runs just Saturday night. But in any event, I just need to know it's a great service uh, and we're really happy that George is providing for for us as long as we know we'll obviously have a couple extra funds to give him and possibly maybe pay the pay the driver give him a tip if, if need be just we have to just take care of him so uh please let me know um if that's possibility or if we don't need it we don't need it okay last but not least the uh, heirs house on sunday from 9 a.m to 1 p.m uh they serve brunch uh, i've talked to them they have 
uh, great food. Um, so if you'd like to come in uh, to that brunch anytime in those hours of 9 to 1, um, I just wanted to kind of get uh, Debbie, who's in charge, uh, a little heads up of the possibility of how many people might be coming in uh, for that. There's nothing scheduled, nothing is different, and it'll still be open to the, to the public and everything like that. But if it's something you want to do, at least I can let her know that X amount of people will be coming in to brunch on Sunday uh, at maybe any of those those uh, parts of that time period from 9 to 1. So just let me know if you'll be attending that or not be attending that. All these things are going to be awesome. I think it's going to be a great time. I'm really looking forward to seeing all of you. Um, but I just want to make sure that um, I know who's coming to what so I can inform the right people. So uh, we have it organized. Okay? If you have any questions, uh, message me, email me, call me, 518-339-3573. Give me a shout and we'll figure out um, anything uh, in the meantime. So I look forward to seeing you all this weekend and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Take care.